Today we're going to be tying a CDC buzzer. The hook I have in the vise is a Camazan B170 medium, medium traditional wet fly hook, size 14. And the thread I'll be using is Uni 380 black. So we catch on just about a millimetre, two millimetres in behind the eye. And whip down about half the shank of the hook trimming off the tag end and we bring that back up to where we start it so for the wing of the fly we're going to be using CDC so we take four four feathers and line the tips up Oops. reasonably good there and for the length of our CDC post you're looking for roughly from the point of the eye to about the bend of the hook so we take that catch it in with three or four turns make sure it's sitting, sitting nice and you also want to make sure you've got a little bit of room on the underside of the CDC for whipping off, whip finishing. So again, the under layer of thread just helps secure the CDC so it doesn't doesn't slip anywhere, doesn't slip around when you tighten in. Trim the CDC off, and bind everything down. From here I'll tie in my rib, which is pearl crystal flash. Tie my rib in and then try and get nice touch and turns the whole way down the shank. You want to be whipping down to the bend of the hook. For the body, I'm going to be using some black seals for you want the body to be quite fine, so literally just a pinch and dub it on. You want this to be dubbed on reasonably tight, keep the body as fine as possible. So a turn or two to catch it on, and if you feel it's loosening up, give it another couple of twists. And nice touch and turns the whole way up. Maybe need a wee bit more there. You want the body to be going slightly more than half the shank of the hook. That's not bad, that's a nice taper there. Just pick off any wee bits that look to be sitting out of place. Let me take a rib. Wind it. Not touching turns, but just enough that you can see some of the seals for poking out through. A couple of turns over the top. Trim it off. Catch everything down in. Now for the wing buds, I'm going to be using some dyed orange goose by it. So you just open, open it up and take your two by it. Trim them off. And you want to tie them in with the point facing back. I'll do my near side first. You 
you can tie them both in together at the same time. But I like to tie them in individually. I just find it's easier at the time. Easier to get them both sitting where I want them. Just check that they're both pretty much the same. As we've got CDCs dropped in below. We'll get that out with a couple more wraps of thread layer. Trim off your seed or your just buy it. Again, just tidy everything up with a few few wraps of thread. Now for the thorax, we're going to be using the seals for again. Ordinary black seals for this time. I take a little bit more, double it on just a little bit heavier. You want the thorax to be just to be a bit thicker. Again, a couple of turns, tighten the thread up if you think it needs it, and just build up a head. It's not too bad there. Take the whip finish tool. Underneath, lift your lift your seals, your CDC bag, and whip just in front of the eye. Trim the thread off. Now the wing buds. You can either leave them, leave them the way they are, or I like to just trim them back. a nice angle on them. It gives you a nice emerging, emerging buzzer. Any thread that's sticking out you can either nick them off with the scissors just to tidy them up or Pull them off with your fingers, or just fish it the way it is and wait till the fish have pulled anything loose out. And there we have an emerging CDC buzzer. Thanks a lot for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, keep subscribing. Thanks.